So the Diablo 2 community is getting quite antsy. I get asked all the time on my live streams, Hey Phil, when is the next season going to be starting? You got a date yet? And then, all of a sudden on the last developer live stream, kind of for Diablo 4, but just a general Blizzard update, we get dropped with this bomb. D2, I know we've had a lot of questions about when the next ladder will be. Uh, we'll have more news on that in February. We don't expect it to, a ladder reset to happen until February, but we'll give you a specific date uh, as we get closer to February. Now, anyone with a basic understanding of math probably could have guessed sometime in February, judging on when the last ladder started. But now we have actual confirmation from Pez Radar. We can expect to hear sometime in the next month when it's going to be. Now, with all this anticipation, are they going to be adding new things into the season? I honestly do not know. But if they are, listen up, Blizzard devs. I got three runeward ideas right here. Hey, you can go ahead and steal these right from me and add them into the game. I think they're going to fill some holes that current runewards and even uniques and stuff don't quite fill. Now, to jump in and show you the very first runeward, I'm actually going to show it to you to start off by not showing you a runeward at all. I'm going to show you only the base for the rune word. Now, it is incredibly annoying to me that all gray or white orbs for the sorceress have absolutely no use. They might as well be keys and bolts or three gold on the ground. Nobody even gives them a second glance. Just go ahead and keep running because there's no use for them. If you find something as crazy as this one right here, I think you should have rune word use for it. So this one has three to Nova, three to Lightning Mastery, three to Energy Shield. What a sick base for, let's say hypothetically, there was some sick rune word to go ahead for the Nova Sorceress in two socketed orbs. And that's what we're bringing you with this one right here. And now it looks real cheap and it actually looks crazy, but there actually is a ton of things that have a wide variety, a wide range of rolls on this. That's why it's gonna be required to be a little bit on the cheap side so you can roll it over and over and over again. So for the name for this particular rune word, we're going with Elemental's Gambit. Now, obviously up at the top there, we got three lightning skills. Now that could be rolling lightning, cold, or fire. And on top of that, it can either be one, two, or three skills. So once again, a wide range, a wide variety, and you don't know necessarily what you're going to get. Now on the FCR, you can also get a range on this right here. This is 40%, this is a perfect roll. Now this could get 30 to 40% FCR. Let's keep going down. The lightning, fire, and cold resistance, that is minus your enemy, that is. These are all 15. These are all perfect rolls again. These can actually roll between 12 and 15. Now, the difference between 12 and 15 on a minus enemy, lightning res or fire res or whatever, isn't going to be game-breakingly different, whether you get 12 or whether you get 15. But the thing is that people pay a premium in regards to high runes for said type of item that rolls perfect. Now, it's going to be hard to get all of those different things, five different things to all roll perfect. Let's be realistic here. This one specific is for the lightning skills, so it's not going to matter if cold and fire roll perfect. But people always want certain things to be absolutely perfect. The people that want the trophy items. And that's what you're going to get here. Some people with an incredibly cheap rune word, they're going to hit the lottery by getting a perfect base. They're going to hit the lottery again if they get an absolutely perfect roll. Now, if you don't necessarily want a perfect roll, you can just roll it a few times to get the different rolls to hit on the elements that you actually want. Let's say like this one, you want lightning skills and you want minus lightning res to roll perfect. Well, it's not going to take 70,000 tries because you have one to three chance to get the top one. And you have, what is there, uh, 12, 13, 14, and 15, four different things to get on the lightning res. That's really not that crazy. Now, the FCR could be important as well, and perhaps it was bouncing around inside this little ball dome I got going on up here. Maybe make that a static 35 FCR, the same as a spirit. Maybe go 30, maybe go 40. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that one. But if all you need is three lightning skills and 15 lightning resistance, the minus to the enemies, I said it backwards once again. If that's all you need is those ones, you could get those, I feel like, not that long. So to kind of show you how this is not too cheap, let's go ahead and take a look at a different one, one that is more likely to be the one you get on your first roll, your second roll, your third roll, if you roll it a few different times. And that is this one down here. Somebody found, hey, I wanna use Fireball. I found this one down here that has three to Fireball. And just as a little bonus, it's got a point or two, two chilling armors. So that can go ahead and save me the one point wonder over there I can put somewhere else. Big whoop, am I right, fellas? But look how this one rolled, and this very likely could be what you get. So he got one to Fire Skills. Lucky him, he got the right element up at the top. But unfortunately, it's only one. And he could get up to three. And then once again, we'll move down. He got the anti-perfect on the FCR, bro. I must have rolled this one because that's just my luck. And then looking at the resistances, 
the minus to enemy resistance. Cold and Lightning got 14, and then the one he wanted, actually, got anti-perfect on, on 12 right there. So, yeah, this looks like some way that I would roll an item, I'm going to be honest. But this is more likely along the lines of what you could get, especially on a playthrough. You can actually farm up a Lum Rune from a Nightmare Countess. So right at the beginning of Act 1 Nightmare, that's essentially the exact same time that you can get yourself a Spirit Sword. So this, I'm um, looking at what else is on it with the 40 to life, 70 to mana, the man after kill, and the energy come on the two runes you put in it. I feel like this is pretty even-ish around with a spirit. Now, finding a two-socketed orb, probably easier than getting yourself a four-socketed crystal sword. Now, also for the crystal sword, a lot of times in order to get that, you have to use your Larset quest on a crystal sword or a broadsword or a longsword from normal cows. Now, with this particular one, you can definitely find some sorceress orb pretty much anywhere that has two sockets on it. They really are just pretty much everywhere. Now, getting any skills on and stuff like that, that's a different story. And that's how the one at the top ends up so godly. So I feel like this one could compete, could compete with a spirit early on. It doesn't have the two to all skills. It doesn't have the 55 faster hit recovery that comes on a spirit sword, but you can get it. Like I said, more easily, you can farm up that Lum Rune from the Countess right at the beginning of Nightmare. And even Endgame, you can roll and roll and roll and roll with a crazy base in order to get an absolutely, in my opinion, godly rune word. Six to Nova, six to Energy Shield, six to Lightning Mastery. You got your 40 FCR, which is the same as what comes on a Heart of the Oak. And you actually get minus to Lightning Res or minus to whatever resistance for whatever element you need. This thing, I mean, it looks awesome to me. Let me know down in the comments. Now, moving on to the next one. Man, everybody always use grief on melee characters. And the way that flat damage works, I mean, I get it. I get it. But we would really like to have something compete a little bit better with it. And also, two-handed weapons. Now, I understand having grief and a death. You get so many stats there, so much damage, it makes sense. But let's make some something to compete with that while also using a weapon type you pretty much never see anybody use. Now, this next one is going to be specifically only for two-handed axes and two-handed hammers. Now, this rune word is going to be called Ogre's Brawn. Now, there's a lot of ogre items in the game, and this is kind of an homage to a joke we have on our channel. I call everything ogres, and it's just absolutely hilarious because, let's be honest, I'm a funny guy. So, Ogre's Brawn is a perfect name for this particular one. There's also another reason that we're going to bring it up, and by showing you the first one right here, this is going to be a five socketed rune word. Five sockets is the max on an ogre maul. So if you go ahead and find an ethereal ogre maul, large get, boom, you get five sockets. You can throw it together super quick. Right here, I have in a five socket thunder maul. These can get six. So if you large them, you're going to get six sockets. But look at all the stuff on this. It's going to be a ton of stuff to help out your damage and some stuff to even help survivability. Remember, this is going to be taking up both hands. So you can't have a sword and a sword. You can't have a sword and a shield like you would be when you're rocking a grief with, uh, I don't know, a, Grief with a storm shield or a grief with, uh, you know, any other shield, a spirit shield, a grief with a death, whatever you're rocking. So I even went ahead and threw on this uh, sword here, 50 percent faster walk run to get you to move around faster. Maybe you're not teleporting. You got the 60 increase attack speed, same as Breath of Dying, a pretty huge, it sounds huge, but 500 percent enhanced damage. Now, this is 100 more than you get on Breath of the Dying. So usually Breath of the Dying Thunder Maul, I looked up some of them. Here comes one sliding in because I'm an editing wizard. It's like 1,300 and some odd damage. So this can be a little bit more damage than Breath of the Dying. Maybe getting it closer to on par with the Grief, the way that flat damage applies and works so darn well. You also get tons of survivability stuff. Hit recovery down at the bottom. You see 200 life. You've got all res. you got life and mana leech on here. And you notice a lot of things that help out your damage as well. We've got Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, Open Wounds. Uh, just for good measure, throw on the same minus requirements you got on Breath of the Dying. So I feel like this could be a great option. I know it looks like a really high top number. You could throw this into different types of axes. There is like the champion axe. It's one of my favorite looking base items. Just with that huge axe right here, you can take another look at it. But this one has a much higher minimum damage, a lower max damage. It comes out okay. till 800, it's 500 to 800. All the same stuff. And with this particular one, no ranges. I don't want an expensive rune word like this. Ohm, low, fax, pull, um. That's too expensive to have different ranges roll. You're not going to want to go ahead and nuke that with a hell rune and a town portal and reroll it or anything along those lines. Something this expensive, just a flat bam. This is what you get. Ogre's Brawn 
absolutely love this one. And once again, let me know down in the comments. Do you think this hits the mark? You think it should get tuned up, tuned down, whatever like that. So those first two, kind of flashy. I'm going to be honest, this next one, not as flashy, but I feel like it fills a little bit of a need, in my opinion. Now, early on, melee characters. Not going to be a ton of options of stuff to go ahead and throw on there. Usually what I end up doing is just grabbing some socketed helm, throwing in whatever random jewels or runes you go ahead and throw in there. Just whatever. Perhaps you're going to make yourself a lore for the one skill or something like that. But we're going to move on to this particular one right here. And this one's called Fighting Chance. And it's very interesting. You notice the chance in the name. Very uncommon. You get this 30% magic find. This early on, all you need is an L and a Tal rune to go ahead and throw together Fighting Chance. Both of these runes you can farm up from normal Countess, and there's kind of a lot on here. Nothing super high, though. Nothing super OP. This is not something you're going to be using endgame. This is to help out melee characters on the playthrough, okay. which, let's be honest, fellas, are melee characters OP in this game? No, they ain't not. So perhaps this could help out. 20% faster walk run gets you moving around a little bit faster. You can run away from danger faster, run into the battle faster. Now, I threw on just a small amount of flat damage onto this just to kind of help out a little bit. I'm not 100% sure the way that flat damage on armors and stuff, because usually you don't ever have flat damage stuff like this on armor. Let me know down in the comments. I couldn't really find a lot of information on it because generally you don't find stuff like this. But if there was some way to add like a little bit of damage with a easy to throw together rune word, but I mean, five damage like that late game isn't going to do anything for you. But early on, getting a little extra damage could definitely help you out. This is a good way to get you early on, get your first life leech. Getting your defense up just ever so slightly early on can help you out. So there's enhanced defense and just a flat 15 defense, just 25 to life. A little bit to bump you up there. The poison res you get from that tile rune right there and 30% better magic find. Hey, melee characters really kind of do need some help. Let's help them out in the manner of getting some magic find and hopefully finding some better gear even along the way. So getting this gear piece, helping you get even better gear pieces, helping out those melee characters. And this is just a specifically early on. I know they did just add those several other uh, rune words in the prior seasons, the last time we got new rune words anyways, but this is just another one that you can make even earlier than those ones. So this could be literally, like I said, just normal countess, grab these. You can shop this uh, particular base from Charcy. Go ahead and throw it together. But let me know what you think of these three different rune words down in the comments. Once again, I, I love, I, I feel like I did a great job on these names. Elemental's Gambit, we've got Ogre's Brawn, and we've got Fighting Chance. Okay. Hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully you like these rune words. Peace out, fellas and devs. Make sure you put these in the next season of Diablo 2 Resurrected.